This is your WAUK Daily News Roundup for The Shaw, 101.1 FM and 540 AM in Waukesha. Civic Media News. I'm Terry Bell. Here's what Wisconsin needs to know. Nearly all of Wisconsin's public water systems met all quality standards last year. The Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources annual drinking water report says 99% of systems were up to code in 2023. Wisconsin water systems got $155 million from the bipartisan infrastructure law last year. The family of a black man killed during a struggle with security guards in Milwaukee last month say they don't want his case forgotten. Milwaukee is gearing up for next week's Republican National Convention. Devontae Mitchell's family says they saw security video of guards punching and kicking him, and he was not armed. It's not clear why Mitchell was at the hotel or why the confrontation started. Donald Trump has a nine-point lead among voters age 50 and older in Wisconsin. That's from a new poll from the AARP. Pollster Bob Ward says older voters are worried about Social Security and unhappy about the economy. The debate had its impact on this race, but I think the fundamentals of this race is that people are really feeling an economic pinch. Ward says older voters appear more motivated than usual. If President Biden wins re-election, he might have down-ballot Democrats to thank. State Representative Greta Neubauer says the reverse coattails effect is part of the Democratic strategy this year. It is the work of state assembly and state senate candidates to lift up the rest of the ticket, and our candidates continue to do that. Neubauer says new legislative maps have energized Democratic voters and new candidates who stayed home under gerrymandered maps. Wisconsin's Democratic Secretary of State is settling an open records lawsuit brought by a conservative group. Sarah Godlewski is agreeing to respond to all future requests. Godlewski was appointed the same day Doug LaFollette resigned early last year. Republicans are looking for evidence of a prearranged agreement. Marshfield Clinic is in talks to merge with South Dakota-based Sanford Health. The two systems have tried to merge with other companies unsuccessfully. Marshfield was in talks to merge with Minnesota-based Essentia Health last year. I'm Terry Bell, Civic Media News. Now here's what you need to know closer to home. For WAUK News, I'm Stuart J. Waddles. The hotel operators say they want a criminal investigation. The death of Devontae Mitchell outside the Hyatt Regency in Milwaukee has led to the firing of multiple hotel employees. There was also a homicide investigation by the county district attorney. Video shows Mitchell being forcefully restrained by four people, with one heard making a comment about Mitchell entering a ladies' room. Reverend Al Sharpton was scheduled to speak at Mitchell's funeral today. The medical examiner has not yet released their report. The Menominee Falls Board of Education has voted to remove a children's book featuring same-sex parents. The book Love Makes a Family will not be available in the 4K classrooms following a parental challenge. The school principal says the book's focus is on family rather than controversial content. Milwaukee's latest crime report reveals a mixed picture. There's been a 15% reduction in homicides and decreases in several other crimes compared to last year. However, figures remain above pre-COVID levels. The city has recorded 68 killings in the first half of this year, with 328 non-fatal shootings and over 3,000 stolen vehicles. Police Chief Jeffrey Norman points to the effectiveness of violence prevention programs and the decline in those crime rates. People just driving into Milwaukee will face challenges next week as the city prepares to host the RNC. There will be a number of road closures. The DOT is warning about the temporary shutdown of the Hone Bridge, plus there will be long-term closures on ramps off 794 and 145. There are also lots of parking restrictions. The RNC starts Monday. Dirt was turned this week in Milwaukee County on a new $30 million youth correctional facility. It's a step in the effort to close the Lincoln Hills and Copper Lake youth prisons. The Milwaukee County Center for Youth will provide a 32-bed secure residential care center. It'll allow judges to sentence youth offenders to a facility closer to their families and support systems. The project is part of a larger statewide juvenile justice reform initiative, aiming to get offenders back into their communities more quickly. Waukesha is embracing the spirit of winter in the summer. There are several Winter in July events scheduled for this week. The festivities kick off with the Waukesha Civic Band's Midwinter Concert tonight in Cutler Park. That's followed by a winter pool party at Buckner Pool on Saturday. The celebration concludes with an outdoor screening of the Polar Express in Cutler Park Sunday. That'll feature crafts and a special visitor from the North Pole. And that's what you need to know.
I'm Stuart J. Waddles, WAUK News. The Brewers bounce back. Hi, I'm Mike Clemens with sports. After losing 12-2 the other night, the Brewers came back and shut out the Pirates 9-0 thanks to a great pitching performance by rookie right-hander Tobias Myers. Man home runs from Reese Hoskins, Willie Adamas on Valley Sports Wisconsin. 1-2 and two to Adamas. In the air left field, hit well. It is up. with a three-run home run. A batter night for the Brewer shortstop. Four runs batted in. Three hits. 14th home run of the season. And the Brewers extend their lead to nine to nothing. Tobias Myers pitched eight scoreless innings, the only rookie to do so twice this year. William Contreras, back behind the plate at catcher. Manager Pat Murphy. Yeah, I mean, Tobias was uh, attacking, which he's been most times, but he was attacking. You got to put Contreras in the conversation because Contreras really did guide him through. A great double play at first base by Hoskins. A crazy good catch in right field by Sal Freelick. Myers on the Brewers' defense. They're amazing every single night. I don't think they get enough credit. Um, I know we won gold glove for the team last year, but I think they're amazing. Every single one of them, they go out there every single night and give it their all. That's Tobias Myers. The series wrapping up today. An update tonight with sports. I'm Mike Clemens. On your entertainment beat, I'm Pete Schwaba. The primetime game show Racket is no longer a good old boys network. Fremantle Media and ABC have announced that executive producer Mishia Muzano will take the reins as showrunner on the Steve Harvey-hosted Celebrity Family Feud. Muzano becomes the first black woman to run a primetime game show. The show returned to production this week, celebrating its 10th season and 100th episode. People often regret not following their dreams of becoming a famous singer, actor, or dancer. Others, like John Corbett, say being a successful actor has been very unfulfilling. Poor guy. The 63-year-old and just-like-that actor told Dana Carvey and David Spade on their Fly on the Wall podcast that creatively he feels empty because he never wrote one line of dialogue or a joke to make people laugh. The handsome actor did acknowledge he's made a ton of money and has a great big house, adoring fans, and gets to kiss Sarah Jessica Parker regularly, and then seemed to completely forget that he was unfulfilled. 2024's summer blockbuster movie season has finally arrived, but studios are already looking two summers into the future. Shrek 5 is officially in development, according to Variety. The Entertainment Rag reports that Mike Myers, Eddie Murphy, and Cameron Diaz will all return and lend their voices. DreamWorks says the film will hit theaters July 1st of 2026. The Hawk Tua girl, a.k.a. Haley Welch, has trademarked the phrase Hawk Tua. The Hawk part is kind of gross and could have been corrected if Haley had spent eight bucks on a neti pot. Nevertheless, according to TMZ, rumors are swirling that the queen of foreplay is in talks to develop her own reality show. TV producers have taken an interest in Welch after her appearances on several podcasts and learned that spittle is not the only thing that comes out of her mouth. Using her words, she comes across as pretty dang likable. With her newfound fame and bedroom talents, you can be sure there will be a long line of suitors wanting to be Mr. Hawk to a girl. In Let It Go news, actress Minnie Driver says marrying Josh Brolin would have been the biggest mistake of her life. This comes just 23 short years after they were engaged for five months back in 2001. Entertainment Weekly says Driver's relationship issues stem from the actress finding out at age 12 that her father was secretly married to another woman and had an entirely different family. Sounds like Brolin is the one who sidestepped that landmine. In a related story, I'm thrilled I never married my seventh grade girlfriend, Penelope. David Duchovny says he auditioned for all three of the male lead roles on the show Full House. On his Fail Better podcast, the X-Files and Californication star said he thought for sure he would get one of the roles and it would change his life. After being completely shut out, Duchovny talked producers into letting him read for the role of Michelle Tanner, but was beat out by the Olsen twins. It's a tough business. I mean, even if he had a twin. For more showbiz fun, tune in to Nightlight with me, Peach Waba, weeknights from 7 to 9 p.m. on the Civic Media Radio Network. Partly cloudy today. We'll get to 76 for a high this afternoon with wind out of the northeast at 5 to 10. Tonight, partly cloudy, 64. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, a little warmer with a high of 80 into the weekend. A few isolated thunderstorms, warmer, a lot more humid with mid 80 Saturday, low 90s by Sunday. I'm meteorologist Sean Cable. Currently, it is 66. That's your WAUK Daily News Roundup from Civic Media. Subscribe to this podcast on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you find your podcasts. Find more news at WAUKradio.com.